We're gonna have to ask you kind gentlemen to get us the fuck out of our way. Yeah, that's just a weapons barrel. With what looks like a bit of Chinese weapons. Ah, we can enter. Yep. Defeat Yihan Shi. He's probably up top. Yihan Sha. Yihan Sha. Alright, first law. It's about Tale of Momotaro. Oh yeah, we started finding those yesterday. There was an Oni called Imbeda, exiled after a disagreement with his brother Yihan Sha. He kills an old couple eating peaches by the riverbank. He plants a room of great treasure on a nearby island. He makes a statue of a monkey, a dog, and a, fe pe and a pheasant out of sparkling iron pyrite. He waits. Immortals don't need a word for patient. First come nine scouts, then nine more, then nine houses. Greed is a powerful magnet. They find the statues and anger cross them into powdery dust which fills the air. Then it all explodes. Oh. What a nice trick. So, ba okay, so... Okay. So... Yeah. Bombs. Okay, let's go up. Well, there he is. Right, ready? Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, God. attack him! God, he looks so ridiculous. Well, he does wear the classic pony. Um, tiger skin. Look out! Then again, we are in a very small room and he AOEs all the time, so yeah. Die. Disable the rift generator. Oh, oh, hey! Well, that's a way to do it. Thanks. Um, yeah, so there's a side quest over here. So he does what? Okay, law. thank you for killing my brother. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> thank you for the help. Well, the law. Let's start with the law. It's the final part of a tale of Momotaro. In Beta searches the corpses for his brother, but does not find him. He goes to a nearby village and, in disguise, tells a story of demons slain and treasures found. This is advertising. This is propaganda. This is the tale of Momotaro. Hmm. Jingo Katana. You find the corpse of a member of the Jingo clan. You should return the dead samurai sword to the Jingo to honor the farm war. Again? Yeah, we might as well. These guys keep dropping their swords all over the freaking place. Also, the guy responds. Ow! Should I replace it with sinking? Should I replace sinking feelings with this? I replaced Noble Calling. I don't know if you have that. I chose that story. I had to replace noodles and swords. You just pick up. Just what? Just pick one round. Alright, alright. Pick the one that isn't one of the bounty missions. Okay, I think I did that. Yep, okay. Everything is cool. And we can't go up further, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna break this shit again. Thank you. Alright, let's leave. Did everyone take the katana for that matter? Yep. I got it. Yeah. Right, let's get out of here and once we're sa okay, and I suggest we just make a run for it back to the safe house, okay? Okay. You should probably notice that at the time you guys took the portal, I got left behind. But we didn't take the portal, Rana. We didn't we're take running. the portal. We just walked past the back out down the stairs. Okay, to, to me it just looked like you took the portal. Sorry. No, because we ran through the portal. That's why. Yes, oh. but we didn't use the portal. We just went through it. Uh, there's a bit of a distinction there. But yeah, just jump. Wait, let's go back to the panel. I'll be right back. Need an escort or? Yeah, sure. Alright. I'm like right behind you. Okay, is it okay if I just read the report while I wait for you guys to I come? I can't get in. Yeah. Sucks. Anyways, just read. Right. 
You probably got a whole we have stocks in hell and compromising photos of angels spiel during orientation. Now you see why that's not just for BA effect. It's important. Inbeda is a vicious demon and a disgusting pig, but he's our pig. He and the other exiled only have taken a shine to earth with our luxury electronics, hot pockets, and endless porn. We'll fight to defend that. You can always trust selfish motives. They endure. And yeah, I've seen the mannequins at the bathhouse. Maybe when Inbeda has used up his usefulness, we'll slice him down for bacon, but until then I just pat him on the head and say, Val do, demon, Val do. And I don't think Kirsten Gary is impressed with his affection for her. Just a feeling I have. Okay, we're here. Yep. And you, the dragon says, Underworld form like barnacles on every environment. It is all part of the pattern. You can change the environment, travel the whole new dimension of the cosmos, and even the laws of physics leave a differ. If a, and a creature uses the underworld of one model, will swim gracefully in the underworld of the other. In Beta is quite at home here. He knows the rules. He adjusts to the model of organized crime. He Stephen King had even have working contracts and protection money exchanges with the Corintakai. The inverse must hold true. Diamond Kyoto would swim like a fish in hell. Yeah. Just a second. Get myself more some drink. And a Templars. It seems a strange twist of the norm. Tokyo has demons feathered to the earth ensnared by our mortal vices and sins. Seem quite cozy. They, they, I think that was supposed to be they. Yeah, keep reading, Rana. Okay. They are not your friends. A demon who kills demons is a demon and should be dismembered with a heated, with heated implements whilst he screams apologies to the angry sky. But there are practicalities. There are, to my counting, too many demons for us to slay today. So we slay all the others. We slay and we slay, and when the world is rid of all the threats more dire, we can turn our gentle attention to in Beda and his house in exile. <laughs> Bring it on! I'll be right here, Rage will shoot every one of you in the fucking head with my machine gun. I love the Templars, they're so nice, aren't they? <laughs> Thing is, you do an audience in the exact same way in this case. Well, actually, I just suspect it's Kirsten Geary who's really, really not impressed with, you know, having this guy. Crushing on her. Just a moment. I suppose that the next. I week mean, she is... never says she wants to kill all the demons. She just wants the guy who has a crush on her and who has a picture of her and mannequins dressed as her to fuck off. So, yeah. Anyway, um, fierce competition, Brady. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on to what? I was just going to look under it. I actually looked under the content and it still has the whole, so we say, FCOM symbol on my one. It was not one of those on the list. What? You bought both... <laughs> Love and Loathing, yes, and also Reaping the Whirlwind. And then you're missing the last one, Rana. Um, oh, okay, I'll just look into the... Uh, the Last before. Pagan, I think it was called. Last Pagan, That's yes, okay. The, the, the... Okay, Last Pagan. Uh, uh, Probably not worth a face palm, but did it anyway. I'll just read it while you find it, Rana. Remember to back away from him and then walk up to him again to reset the uh, Actually, I did not need to do that. Okay. In beta wants to find out who's muscling in muscling in on his assassination contracts. He's even willing to lend out the mask of Kanami to help find answers. Ready? Yeah. Oh, uh, Ready. Ready. Three, two, one, click. <clears throat> Ah, huh, hello. What do you have there? A corpse. Ah, we are discussing if we can claim the bounty for this one. We aren't the ones who killed him. Hmm. That's a big part of the problem. There is somebody else working the contract. A third party. An unknown variable. Yeah, I feel good now. Invader doesn't mind sharing profit or even forming an alliance when it suits him. 
But this person is always two steps ahead. These are killing wounds, delivered precisely and with no wasted motion. There isn't another mark on him, which means that we are dealing with a professional of the highest caliber. <laughs> Looks like this fellow. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <hell. sighs> My master suggests that you are culturally ignorant. Hey, I know that thing. <laughs> no, I'm not. I love that show. Oh, nope, didn't it's see that one coming. It's all hell, but it's awesome. He's not interested in playing a game of who's the better killer. He wants you to go to the site of this killing and figure out who <laughs> is killing these people and why. <laughs> And he wants you to take me. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Imbeda wants you to take me along. He thinks my talents might come in handy. Thank you. This is my sister mask. I can transfer my consciousness to it. The frowning mask. It always makes me so depressed. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the best thing he ever bought off eBay. <laughs> Half a lot of people do. I love these. None of you guys are getting to kill these demons. I love no. them. Exactly signing off. I, I don't I'm mind these back. guys staying around, but at the end of the day. Slaughter's a slaughter. <laughs> also, I need to say something of the whole, you know, that demon foolish, guy that other only coming in. Incompetence my master drapes around himself. You are expendable. And if you find the killer, he doesn't expect you to survive. There is no risk to me, however, and Imbedo will expect me to return and give a full report. Well, I guess it makes sense. I mean, we can't die, so it's not like it matters. But, yeah. You were saying, Rana? Yeah, um, I was just saying, on my screen, it actually went, this here demon, or the other Oni, coming in to drag his corpse away. Only thing is, it glitched in a way, so that it looked yeah, like... Yeah, I saw that. Up, and then his body was just standing up beside it, and saying, Whoa, this is an out of... This is a weird experience. Indeed. Yep. Anyway, and then, death report. Huh? huh? Subject name Asuma Kotayashi, age 41, status deceased, premature. We accepted a contract on the subject. By the old laws, it should have been our teeth and claws to give Kobayashi's heart a final caress. But we found the subject dead before the contract could be satisfied. Inbeda will not be pleased, as he is fond of saying, what good is a corpse if it received release premature? Scene of the crime, location, Haiwana Bashu Plaza. We found Kobayashi dead, his blood already cold, across the street from the bathhouse. His corpse was severely lacerated. Oh, what flimsy meat sacks we small to be. We saw no sign of their killer, neither hair, nor print, nor whisper. Unless my nose is mistaken, this was not the work of our hellbound brethren. I could scent no demon sting. I could taste no infernal magic when licking the wounds. The cuts were made by a katana of fine craft. The first blow did not kill, but the following strikes did. Third is enclosed. Mm -hmm. huh. Again, I really think this report shows these guys are really running a professional business. Yep. Also, I'm very much I betting on the. If the killer in this case is wearing a bunny mask. Yep, the bunny killer. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see. Travel to the location of the murder. Um, said it was right over in front of the bathhouse, didn't he? Oh, wrong one. Let's see. Um, Across the street from the bathhouse. So, so it must be over here. So that was essentially nothing more than a decent stroll over there to get a contract. Oh, okay, we have filth.
Oh, we're cleaning house. Another one isn't coming. There we go. Now, are there any of these houses that really correspond to I keep cleaning the wrong one? To the well, there's the filth infection over there's there. The filth thing over there. Yeah. Well, we can. I think it's all there. Yeah. Yeah. What well, I'm talking about. Also, there's law. 